Hey there YouTube, today is a brief introduction to chromatic aberration in After Effects as per request. So we're going to go and open up After Effects here. Chromatic aberration occurs in the lens of a camera when the lens fails to correctly align the red, green and blue channels resulting in a kind of displaced red, green and blue effect. Generally speaking it's undesirable in uh, real time footage or photographs but in uh, the CGI world and apparently the gaming world, it adds that extra realism or substantial feel to the image. So I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to create the chromatic aberration effect in After Effects. Let's go and import an image here. Here is a rather quick and crappy volumetric render from Lightwave. We'll drag that down there and we'll duplicate it three times. Well get a total of three duplicates. We'll then move over here to the effects panel, go under color correction, and scroll down till you find levels individual controls. We're going to grab that and place one on each layer. Okay, let's right click each layer, set the blending mode to add. In the first layer you'll notice we have a red, a green and a blue channel. As you can probably imagine what we're going to do here is we're going to have three layers and each layer is going to represent a different color channel so that we can easily manipulate the channel to create the chromatic aberration effect. There are other ways to do this such as using a plugin which I'll provide a link to in the description but this is the most basic method. So we'll turn off the green, output white zero, the blue output white zero and leave the red on. Let's move down to the next layer. In this layer we'll have our green so set the red to zero and the blue to zero leaving only the green. Finally in our last layer set the red to zero the green to zero leaving the blue. And now we have our original image back. So let's grab the first layer, which is our red layer, and displace it by dragging it. And now you see we have a somewhat split red, green, and blue effect, a kind of a rainbowy effect going across our image. It adds somewhat to the realism, but you don't want to overdo it. In particular, if you're working with images in which there are stars, you'll want to have the foreground and the background on separate layers because generally speaking you wouldn't want the stars to have any chromatic aberration whatsoever. And that is the basics of how to create a chromatic aberration effect in After Effects. You can now of course go and select each layer and go layer, pre-compose and uh, click OK there. And now you will have your red, green and blue channels in a separate composition. So you can manage it either as one layer or you can modify the red, green and blue channels separately should you wish to. And this has been a brief tutorial on chromatic aberration in After Effects. If you're not a DIY person, you'll find a link to Omino32, a free plugin in the description, which will do this for you. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you next time. Live long and prosper.